So we're going to practice solving some number stories with decimals and some multi-step number stories with decimals. So I want you to look at the stock up sale poster, and this is number one. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and as you can see, they give you an item. So a four-pack of light bulbs is $1.09, but sometimes what stores do is they reduce the price of an item if it is purchased in bulk or in a larger quantity. So the stores make up for pricing that price lower, so not making as much of a profit by selling more of them because people are getting a better deal, so they tend to buy more. So if I bought five or more for a pack of light bulbs, I would only pay 88 cents per pack, which is different than if I just bought one at $1.09 per pack. So we're going to be using these household items to do some number stories. So here's the stock poster one, and then here's the stock up sale poster two. So it has different items depending on what the problem is asking us. So let's look at the first problem. And remember, these are practice problems. You probably, you're not gonna find them in your math journal. Um, you might be able to find them online in one of the e-presentations. If not, just follow along with a white piece of paper. Okay, first problem. What is the cost of a ballpoint pen? What fraction of a dollar is that? So I'm now gonna go and slide and I'm gonna look for a ballpoint pen. So I don't see the pen on this page. Here we go. Here's the information for a ballpoint pen. And I can see that one pen is 39 cents. So I'm gonna go back to my problem. The cost of a ballpoint pen is 39 cents. What fraction of a dollar is that? Well, we know that cents, you need 100 cents to have a dollar. So the fraction would be 39 hundredths. And you can tell because it goes into the hundredths place. What is the cost of a pen if you buy five or more? What fraction of a dollar is that? So we're going to look at the stock up sale price. So if I buy five or more, I only have to pay 27 cents per pen instead of 39. So I would only pay 27 cents, and if I wrote that as a fraction, it'd be 27 hundredths. Now, how much do you save per pen by buying pens in bulk? So you could do this one or two ways. You can subtract using cents. So if I did that, it would be 39 cents minus 12 cents equals 12 cents. But you just have to know in your mind that 12 cents is written as a decimal. Okay, these are not whole numbers you're dealing with. I find it easier to do the fraction method. So if the first ballpoint pen, just buying one, is 39 hundredths, and then the cost of buying five or more is 27 hundredths, you are left with 12 hundredths or 0 0.12. Okay, let's look at the next set of problems. What is the total cost of a roll of transparent tape and a pad of construction paper? So we're gonna go look. We need one roll of transparent tape and one pad of construction paper. So let's see, I see construction paper here is 67 cents. So 67 cents and tape is 84 cents. So 84 cents and 67 cents. So the tape is 84 cents. And then the construction paper is 67 cents, right? Or did I mix those up? Nope, I got those right. Okay, so we're asking what the total cost of both of those items are. So again, you can leave it as a decimal, 
but I think it's easier if you convert these to fractions. So this is 84 hundredths and 67 hundredths. So now I would do 84 hundredths plus 67 hundredths, and that equals 151 hundredths. So obviously this is a improper fraction. So if I take out one whole, which is 100 one hundredths, I'm left with 51 hundredths. And if I wanted to write this as a decimal, it would be one whole and 51 hundredths. So a dollar and 51 cents is the cost of transparent tape and a pad of construction paper. Okay, this is our last practice problem. This is a multi-step problem, so we're going to have to do multiple steps to solve. How much change would you receive if you bought five bars of soap at the stock up sale price and paid with a five dollar bill? So the first thing we need to do is figure out how much five bars of soap at the stock up sale price would be. So let's go back. And the stock up sale price is 67 cents. I'm sorry, 65 cents. If I wanted to write that as a fraction, it would be 65 hundredths. Now remember, they bought five bars of soap at this price. So each bar is 65 cents. So now I have to do five times 65 hundredths, which would be five times 65 over 100. And if I multiplied that, I would get 325 hundredths. Now, I know that if I see a three in the hundredths place, I could take out three holes, right? Three groups of 100, 100. That would be 300 hundredths or three, right? And I'm left with 25 hundredths. How would I write that as a price? Well, I don't want to do that just yet because they paid with a $5 bill. So here was step number one, finding out how much five bars of soap costs. And now here's step number two, which is taking that cost and subtracting it by that $5 bill to give us what change they got back. So if they paid with a $5 bill and the cost of five bars of soap was three and 25 hundredths. Now I would take this five and I would take out a whole. So I would rewrite this as four and 100 one hundredths, okay? Because those are equivalent minus three and 25 hundredths. And then you subtract the whole numbers. Four minus three is one. 100 minus 25 is 75. And my denominator doesn't change. So to write this as a fraction, we have one whole, right, to represent this number. And 75 hundredths represents the fraction. So you would get a dollar and 75 cents back in change.